Smile to Jenya. <laughs> Good morning, thank you for calling Coca Cola. You're speaking to Kevin. Can I start by taking your name, please? Good morning, mate. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm doing good, mate. My name's Jonathan Riley. How can we help? Um, I was just uh, looking for your ingredients, for your ingredients, because I've been uh, doing a bit of that healthy eating stuff, so I've been uh, checking what I read. Um, so I just had a few uh, questions. I thought, who better to ask than Fanta themselves? Okay. Yeah. What is it that you want to know? Um, well, mate, is the uh, the citric acid? Um, I just wanted to inquire first about the citric acid. Uh, what's the what's the source of your citric acid? Unfortunately, that would fall under information that's proprietary to the business. Pro proprietary, mate. I don't know what that means. It's information that we need to keep. Secret? It's a trade secret? Citric acid? Yes. I, lo I love your product, and I'm, if I'm drinking it, uh, could you kind of let me into that secret, you know? I won't tell anyone. Well, the particular flavourings used in our drinks are yeah. valuable so trade secrets and the proprietary yeah, yeah, information, no, so I mean, no, we wouldn't that, be able to play yeah, yeah, yeah. one. No, that's cool. I respect that. But my friend Dave, he tells me, mate, that's got, this, it comes from black mould. I'm like, whoa, 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 black mold, mate, citric acid comes from oranges, lemons and limes, mate, that's what I would have thought, because black mold, if you eat too much, you can get diarrhea, nausea, loss of appetite, and I was like, mate, let me give him a call, let me see what's up in it, but can you confirm that it doesn't come from at least black mold, though? I've never heard of uh, us using that for, um... For Coca Cola, it's not citric acid, but yeah, that's what I would have thought, mate. I was like, What's the I, I don't know, would you be able to confirm that, or are you unsure, or what's the deal with that, mate? But Unfortunately, it's as I said, the exact source is proprietary to the business, so I wouldn't be able to confirm or deny oh. because I genuinely don't know. Okay, so the yeah. specific sweeteners in Fanta Orange, yeah, are acyl form K and Ace sucralose. Ace, acyl form K, what, what's that in English, mate? Yeah. Uh, that is an English name, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, correct me, mate. I'm just on this random website. It says acyl from potassium uh, is 200 times sweeter than sugar, and it gives food and drinks their sweet taste without adding calories. Is that what you've said, yeah? Yeah, they don't. Uh, uh, they don't add calories to the drink. Uh, most sweeteners do tend to be a lot sweet. Yeah. And so what that's measuring in is a sort of pound for pound comparison. So most sweeteners do tend to be sweeter than sugar. So obviously we just use a very small amount to produce oh. the same effect. But you know what, mate? I was on one of these websites and it said that Fanta, it was actually made for the Nazis uh, in, in World War Two because some Coca-Cola thing. Obviously, I don't know about the website, so I can't really say. So I thought, let me... Let me ask the the great man himself, which is you. Yeah, so can you confirm if Fanta was really, you know, uh, made by the Nazis? Because that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? It wasn't made by them, no. Ah, um, okay. It, the, as with most things that, you know, get sensationalized on the internet, it's a lot more complicated ah, than that. Ah. There was a drink called Fanta that was produced... Uh, in Germany during that period as a result of trade restrictions because, oh. of course, most of the rest of the world wasn't prepared to deal with them. Okay, so did they call it Fanta? Like, couldn't you guys sue them or something? Because that's really bad for your name and stuff, isn't it? Okay, so the thing is, it was invented yes. in Germany during World War Two, yes. right? But it had nothing to do with them, basically. It was just a company that was in Germany in World War Two, making it. It wasn't oh. part of their organisation oh. movement. Okay, so... But they do. It oh. was just a bit of making drinks. It but, was like that. Yeah, but regarding the government that was there, I would have thought that because it was done under the Nazis, it, they would have been a government kind of okay and everything, isn't it? Because my mate, he was proper convincing me. I was like, wait, mate, 
it, the Nazis made it and stuff. He's like, yeah, because Coca-Cola couldn't go in there because obviously it was an American thing and they kind of made their own thing, which was Fanta. And then, then afterwards, after all that thing died down, then Fanta just went to Coke and it just became one big happy family again. I was like, mate, I don't know, mate, that don't really sound too good. But I mean, from what you've said, you've said it's independent from the government. So they were doing their own thing, yeah? Yes. Okay, and it wasn't involved in the war or, or feeding the, the, the Nazis or, or, or whatever, none of that, yeah? Wasn't part of the Nazi party at all, no. Oh, no, 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 I see what you mean. You're trying to say it's not the Nazis per se, it was in Germany, overlooked by the Nazis, and then it went to Coca-Cola afterwards. That makes more sense, isn't it? That is what happened, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know if you can tell your superiors and that to possibly... Uh, reduce some of the the sweeteners in their drinks and maybe you know make sure that the citric acid uh if possible mate they can just you know make it clear if it's from black mold or not um and just be a bit more transparent with their stuff because you know people love you know knowing what's in their food and that isn't it because you know with the healthy eating and obesity and all that going up w would it be possible for you to take my my concerns forward and just let them know Yep, I will definitely be sharing your comments with the brand.